Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to mosaic two LULC map of E3. So, this is our study area. Okay, click here, zoom to layer. This is my study area. If I click here, hello. Okay, so this is my study area, Meghalaya state. The cloud, the land of cloud. Okay. And I have two E3 elevels map. This one and this one. Sorry, this one. You can see this LULC map. If I uh, zoom out, this is actually covered huge area in including the, the greater portion of the China, the Northeast India, and part of Bangladesh. But my study area required small portion within this this second LULC map okay so I required this two LULC is the LULC map for my uh, calculation or for my uh, the research area for my research activity so how I can uh, mosaic these two is the LULC map this is very simple technique so there is a two method or uh, there is a two technique by this I will do mosaic of these two uh, separate raster image. One is that key at first I want to mosaic these two map, and after that I will cut down my that that the uh, the mask my study area. And another method is that key at first I want to uh, cut down the uh, the study area among this LULC map, and after that I will merge or I will uh, mosaic this two area okay so i'll do the second option so for that at first you just uh, from your uh, select feature click this one so my study area is selected okay after that you go to window then go to image analysis and here you just select this one first one by using shift button this two and here you can see the cliff that means I have already selected my study area. I selected this two uh, is the LULC map. Then I just click here this cliff. Okay, just click here cliff. So after cliff, okay, in uh, when the process over, two new additional layer will join within, within this the layer panel. So you can see here this two new uh, the cliff layer already added. Okay. So if I uncheck the previous two, now you can see the entire study area I can see here, okay. But here is also I want to show you, if I uncheck the first one, you can see this portion is blank, okay. If I uncheck the second one, this portion is blank, okay. So I cut down the total area, okay, this uh, study area by using this method but i am unable to join these two map so now i will join these two map into a and creating a separate map okay or single map so for that go to the data management tool within this data management tool go to raster okay here you can see the raster uh, yes raster data set and within this raster data set you can see mosaic and mosaic to new raster so you just choose this mosaic to new raster okay so after from the input layer click this first one and the second one then output location click here uh, the folder location okay so folder location will be the just go back this is real you will see then add and the star name will be meghaloya dot if or meghaloya you will see l u l c dot if okay then go below you can see a number of bands so this is a single band image okay i want to say you that this two is a single band that means after the 
composite image is this image actually uh, published by ECD. So this is a single band image. Okay, there is only one band. So we just select and write here one band. If you put here two, three, four, five, then this uh, this activity will not perform. Okay, so we have or our map is a single band image. Okay, then just click here. Okay. So it will take a uh, few times, few minutes. So, okay, process complete. I want to uncheck this one, this one. So our process completed. If I uh, click here, you can see there's a total two five five uh, the layers. But we know that each the LC map has total nine band. Sorry, nine class. So how to dec uh, now, uh, now I, I want to show again that means e, this is our study area okay and there is a only one map okay so this black color showing the no data value we can easily uh, remove this one okay no, no no issue so click here again so now I want to uh, reclass this uh, LULs map okay so how to reclass uh, just go to uh, spatial analysis tool here reclass just reclassify and from here select this mega level C then uh, reclass field would be value okay so click here just unique value so when you click here unique value then the all nine class will appear and I can do the activity so first one you just write one second one is two third one is three fourth one is then fifth sixth sixth seventh eighth and the ninth okay this one is nine then output raster click here uh, just to go outside is still will see uh, click here this make a little will see just write reclass okay r e c l a double s reclass make a you will see click save click ok reclass also done uh, here I want to uh, do one thing that is just uncheck this one click here go to properties so the I can write here the first class is uh, water second class is trees third class is flooded veggie vegetation Fourth class is crops. Fifth one is built up. Sixth one is bare land. Bare ground. Then seventh class is uh, snow. Eighth class is cloud and the ninth number cloud is rangeland that means grassland okay then i can also assign the first class is water body like this second this one trees private vegetation i want to give this crop solar yellow built up area mars red then bare ground would go snow then white arctic white cloud is black gray and grassland i want to give light apples apply and okay so these are the reclass uh, the uh, different classes 